Is Stephen Curry overrated? Now this video is a video that I've wanted to create for a while but I haven't really ever done it and I don't know why. It's one that will probably create a lot of controversy in the comment section but all I ask is that you hear me out and you listen to the entire video because I'm going to talk about points that lead to Stephen Curry being overrated and points that lead to Stephen Curry being not overrated and I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. But before I get started, I saw B Souls, I think that's how you say his name. Anyway, I'll leave a link to his video in the description box down below. It was a really good video, so go check it out. But he also made a video similar to this one. Yeah. So, is Stephen Curry overrated? Now, it wasn't too long ago that the basketball world was comparing Stephen Curry to Michael Jordan, which I found absolutely absurd, but you remember it, right? Please tell me that you remember it. Even Michael Zemba made a video on the topic because it was getting completely out of hand. He made one saying how there shouldn't be any comparison between Michael Jordan and Stephen Curry. The hype was real, but now it feels like all those comparisons are done with for a while ever since Stephen Curry choked in the 2016 NBA Finals and performed very poorly to say the least, and the 73 win Warriors team never got a ring. The basketball world has been coming down hard on Stephen Curry, we all know that. Curry is not MJ, we know that Curry is not LeBron, we know he's not Allen Iverson or Shaquille O'Neal, he's Stephen Curry, a two-time MVP, back to back in fact, a one-time NBA champion, and he led his team to the best record of all time. However, is Stephen Curry overrated? Firstly, I think I'd like to settle the argument by saying that there is a big difference between someone being overrated and overhyped. I think Stephen Curry has been overhyped for the past two seasons, but not overrated. This is mostly due to the media. For me, being overhyped is more to do with what the media and public relations have done in terms of overhyping someone and making insane statements to create a buzz around the topic, which in this case is Stephen Curry. Being overrated is more to do with what the critics or people in general who have said or written something about him, like the people in the YouTube comment section who either overrate him way too much or people that just absolutely hate him for no apparent reason. Anyway, let me be clear. I don't think this takes anything away from his actual play. This is a man who is part of the 50-40-90 club, has a scoring title, has two MVPs, and is the first unanimous MVP in NBA history, which people do love to argue this against him, but it's not really his fault. That's what the NBA gave to him, most likely due to the fact that he was overhyped by the media. This is a man who won an NBA championship in 2015. He brought his team to the finals in 2016, as well as having one of the greatest individual seasons of all time. Curry is the greatest shooter in the world, and arguably the greatest mid-range shooter, although that might be a stretch, but for sure he is the greatest three-point shooter in the world for sure. And he will probably be the greatest three-point shooter of all time when it's all said and done. He isn't overrated, nor underrated. He is what he is, a top 3 player over the last 2 seasons. And I want to emphasize that last point, over the last 2 seasons, from his first MVP season to now. In saying that, you could also argue that he is not a top 3 player this season and I'd probably agree with you. So let's say in his last 2 MVP seasons he was a top 3 player in the league. This year with Durant being added to his team, it's very hard to say that Curry is a top 3 player since Durant is playing better than him on the exact same team as him. This season, my top three would probably be LeBron, KD, Westbrook, or Harden. I mean, how could you really cancel out Russell Westbrook's triple doubles in saying that he is a man that loves to go after stats? So, I don't know. I can't see Curry as a top three player this season, but obviously that's a debate that we could all have. Now that I've got that out the way, here is why Curry is seen as overrated and overhyped. I do understand why people believe he is overrated, which I will get into that right now. ESPN ranked him as the 4th greatest point guard of all time, even before reaching the 73 wins and winning his second MVP. Now that is absolutely ridiculous. 
Just another example of the overhyped type of player he has become. And even when he did get the 73 wins, he still doesn't belong in the top 5 point guards of all time. This is of all time, not currently. He was ranked higher than Chris Paul, Isaiah Thomas and Steve Nash already. Now, I get that by the end of his career, we could have a different discussion. I get that. But right now, we are talking about the greatest point guards that have ever played in the NBA. And Curry was ranked 4th? I don't think we should rank him as the 4th greatest point guard of all time. Not just yet. Like I said, a different discussion after we wait a few more seasons in the league. But as ESPN ranked him as the 4th greatest point guard of all time, I don't know about that. Like, ah, oh, that's, that's a little high for me. So, long story short, no. I don't think Stephen Curry is overrated. But I do think at times he can be overhyped, like ESPN ranking him as the 4th greatest point guard of all time. And it's nothing to do with Stephen Curry's play, it's just that he hasn't done it long enough to be the 4th greatest point guard of all time. And I'm sure that even if you are Stephen Curry fans, and even if you enjoy watching Stephen Curry, I'm sure you can agree, if you've watched other point guards, that he isn't as good just yet of all time. Like, certain years he may be better, but once again, I don't really like the discussion of comparing one current player of today's NBA to a past player like Stephen Curry and Isaiah Thomas, if you know what I mean. So once again, I don't think that Stephen Curry is overrated, but I, I do think at times he's overhyped. And I will get into that once more. Also, when people say that he has only played this great for two seasons, they aren't lying. Yeah, he's had good seasons before 2015, but not to this extent. Like, he was an all-star before he won his first MVP, but he wasn't the MVP type Stephen Curry before he won the MVP. Like, it's a bit obvious. I mean, just look at the stats. We can all agree on that, surely. Like, he was a good player, but he was a great player after he won his first MVP. So, when he's compared to CP3 and Isaiah Thomas on an all-time list, I get it. Maybe this season he's better than CP3, but I'm talking about throughout their entire careers. I think it's crazy. Not to mention he's getting compared to LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, and Michael Jordan, which in my opinion is just once again another example of Curry being overhyped by the media. Yes, he's good. Yes, he's one of the NBA greatest players, but you have to be great for a long period of time to be compared to these legends and LeBron James. Which, I'm not saying it can't happen, I'm just saying, not right now, he can't be compared to LeBron and Kobe and Jordan. We can't just look at the past two seasons and compare him to the 10 all-time greatest players in the NBA, or the 10 plus all-time great seasons by MJ, LeBron, etc. It's just disrespectful. So, to cap it off, Curry isn't overrated. He is overhyped, in my opinion. Now, that may look like it's the same thing, but it isn't. Because being overhyped in a sense that he already deserves to be mentioned to all-time grace, he simply isn't there, not just yet. At this point in the video, I want you to comment your opinion in the comment section down below, because I've talked about why Stephen Curry is overrated, or overhyped, and I've talked about why he isn't overrated and why he isn't overhyped, because he is a two-time MVP. He did lead his team to the NBA Finals, and he is one of the greatest point guards, let alone one of the greatest players in the NBA. But at this point of the video, I want you to comment your opinion in the comment section down below, because as you can see by the title of the video, this is a question. I actually want to know your thoughts. I'm just saying out my thoughts and creating ideas for you to think about, but I actually want to know what you think. So whilst you're letting me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, I'll quickly outline some other thoughts that I had, and these are thoughts that sort of relate to why Stephen Curry actually isn't overrated and isn't overhyped. So the first point is just something that I was thinking about, and it's that, does choking make you overrated? Like, I know that Stephen Curry and the Warriors choked away the series three games to one in the NBA Finals, we all know that. It's such a popular thing to comment nowadays on almost every NBA video, but I was thinking, why does it get brought up so much? I know it's a stupid question because it's literally the fact that they blew a 3-1 lead, but hear me out, I was thinking about this. Do people like to comment that because they hate Stephen Curry and this is their way of getting back at him, or do they comment it because they lost the NBA Finals, 
Or is it simply just because they lost three games to one? In that case, shouldn't LeBron be overrated for choking the 2011 NBA Finals? I know it wasn't three games to one, but he still had a horrible performance in those NBA Finals that year. So back to my question, which was, does choking make you overrated? Because in that case, they both choked. They both choked in the NBA Finals. But is it only the fact that it was three games to one which made it so bad? Is that why Stephen Curry copped so much criticism? Because frankly, they both ended up with the same result, a loss in the NBA Finals. Let me know your thoughts. I know most people are going to say it's the fact that it was three games to one which made it so bad, not the fact that it was a loss in the NBA Finals and they both underperformed, but in reality, they both ended up with the same result. The next thing I hear a lot of is the fact that shooting threes is easier in the modern day because of the less physical defense compared to the 90s and earlier years. And the thing is, I'd agree with that completely. The defense is definitely very different. There's no hand checking, blah, blah, blah. In saying that, Comparing plays in different eras will never really work out unless of course you had a time machine and you wanted to bring back Bill Russell back into the NBA from the 1960s which I'd love to see happen but I don't think it's going to happen. So let's say we did have a time machine, we could bring Bill Russell back into the NBA and see how he would play in today's NBA because the game has evolved and the game will always evolve. The NBA is always going to evolve so comparing past players and current players won't ever really work out. But I will say this about the rules, because a lot of people like to bring up the rules as a way to get at Curry. But I was thinking about this, and if the rules make it so easy, why isn't everyone doing what Stephen Curry is doing? Why isn't everyone having the most efficient seasons of all time? Like, I'm genuinely asking that, because if no one is doing what Stephen Curry is doing, why does that make him overrated? Does it make him overrated? I don't think so. I think it's the fact that he's just playing to his strengths. Lastly, I know it really truly sounds like I'm on the Curry bandwagon at this point, but trust me, I'm not. I just want to be as unbiased as possible because that's the only way you can actually have a fair video and a fair comparison. And that's what people are subscribed to my channel for, an unbiased opinion on topics just like this. So I'll straight up admit, his defense is his real knock on his game. In saying that, he does play on arguably the greatest defensive team in the league to benefit him, so it doesn't really matter if he's that bad on defense because he does have the other teammates to back him up. Not to mention, he led the entire league in steals last season, so that's not a bad feat for someone who can't play defense. If you lead the entire NBA in steals, I can't say that you're a bad defender, but I can say that you're an average defender simply because he doesn't guard his own man most of the time. He normally guards the worst offensive player at the point guard or the shooting guard position. So whether you use his defense as a knock against his game doesn't really bother him or the Warriors because they're that good at defense anyway. But in saying that, if he could guard his own opponent on the defensive end, that would make him a lot better. So another point I hear, and this will be my final point, is that people love to downplay Stephen Curry by saying he can only shoot threes. Well, if you are the greatest three-point shooter in the NBA, this is how you've changed the game. This is why you play, and you have the skill and ability to hit threes better than anyone that has ever played in the NBA. That's what he should do. The argument is stupid because you can't really penalize him for that. You can't penalize a player because he uses his skill set to the best of his ability. That's like penalizing LeBron James for driving inside and penalizing Kareem for using his skyhook on almost every possession. That's like penalizing Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant for creating their own shot or using the fadeaway jumper. It's the saying that if something ain't broke, why fix it? In saying that, on some accounts, his shooting has let him down. But that's not to say that it hasn't happened to Kobe or LeBron. That's just something to think about. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said at the start, I've been wanting to make this video for a while, so I'm pretty glad I finally made it because I felt like I could do an unbiased opinion on the topic. Now, to reiterate, I want to say that I don't believe Stephen Curry is overrated, but I do believe he is overhyped by the media at times, especially when he gets compared to Michael Jordan and players like that. In saying that, Curry is one of the most exciting players 
and he's one of the best players the NBA has to offer. So it will be a shame if you didn't watch him do his thing on the court because you hate the Warriors or you hate Curry. I think if you did, you'd be missing out on something special and something you won't see for a very long time after he's gone. Anyway, if you enjoy the video, it would mean the world to me if you could hit the subscribe button if you're new around here. I make NBA videos just like this. I make topics, I make discussions, I make what ifs, I make NBA history videos, stories, everything you want to know on the NBA on this channel. Definitely subscribe if you're new. And let's try and hit 4,000 likes for the next video and comment some of your own ideas down below that you'd like me to make a video on. That would be amazing. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace!